Hello there and welcome to my 8th 3D tutorial and in this tutorial you will learn how to load objects in way faster so you're gonna wanna watch the first loading into um, GameMaker first because you're gonna need that so here is the same model except for I've changed it a little bit so as you can see it has all weird colors here now I could have done that otherwise but Instead, I painted it right onto the model, making it way easier to do, and it looks way better in the end. And not only that, but this loaded in under a second, and I could load hundreds more of them in the same time. Meaning that you can load heaps of really good 3D models, and they will take no time whatsoever. So, for now I'm going to show you how to do that. Now it's extremely easy. Alright, so the code I'm going to use, so I deleted the other one. Here we go. So here's how to load it in. All I have to do is thing, making a variable, is d3d model create, and then d3d model load thing that variable, and then this is the file name. So thing dot d3d. D3d is game maker's model type. So game maker is made for this kind of model type. So now when you draw it, nothing different whatsoever, except for now instead of making it a background. I've just made it minus one, which is pure white. So that's, and so, now here's how I do all that. So that's how to load it in. Now, here, here's the program that I'm using. I'm going to um, give you the link to this. Now, I did not make this program. This was made with GameMaker, and I, I will give you the link to the, to the person who made this. Anyway, so as you can see, um, I have the model, I loaded the model in here. Now, I just loaded it in as an OBJ. So I didn't do anything to that. And now, there we go. Here's the model. So all I have to do to paint it is this. So now I can paint, and it automatically creates color. And then, as soon as I save it, right here, then it'll automatically save it as a D3D. It takes absolutely no time whatsoever to save it. And then there you go. It's automatically converted. So then you go back here and you play it. And as you can see, it is a very easy way to do things and it's very fast as well. Now you can see how fast it, it takes to load. There we go. Ender a second by a long shot. Maybe even less than half a second. And as you can see, there's that little shapey thingy there. Weird shape. And there you have it. A really easy way to load models into Game Maker that are still the exact same quality, if not better. And you can paint them to make them look really cool. So yeah, that's all I have for this 8th 8 3D tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.